Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Tailwind CSS in Next.js. I have installed Next.js over here in my computer. If you don't know how to install Next.js, please feel free to watch my previous video. I will put the link in the description. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's open web browser and then go to tailwindcss.com and then click on get started and then go to framework guides and click on Next.js over here. So this is how you can create Next.js project. We will skip step one because I've installed uh, Next.js on my computer. The next step is step two, install Tailwind CSS. You have to copy this command, okay, to install Tailwind CSS, copy it, and then go back to your project. Next, we are going to stop Next.js, control C, and then press Y, hit enter. Press the command over here, hit enter okay after the installation done we have to execute the second command which is this one so this command view enable two files tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js okay let's paste this over here and hit enter okay you will see there's two files are created over here the next step that you have to do, you have to specify content. Just copy this one and go back to your projects and then go to tailwind.config, replace the content over here. You will see that content specify two paths, which is page and component. If you go to page over here, you will see page, which is this one. For the component, right now we don't have component folder. If in the future you create component folder in your project, you don't have to specify this again. All right, next step, what we have to do is step four. Uh, we go to global.css and we paste this tailwind over there. Let's go to styles and global CSS. On top over here, let's include tailwind. Paste this over here. Next, run npm run dev to start next.js again. Let's click, control click here to open Next.js. The next step that we have to do is step six, which is start using Tailwind in our project. Okay, let's go to page and index.js. Okay, over here, I will create a new div and I will type hello Tailwind. Okay, I will put class name over here and then I can specify Tailwind CSS class, for example, text red 500, okay, and BG blue 300. Let's save it. Let's take a look. You will see Tailwind works in our projects. Okay, this is all about this video. If you like this video, feel free to click like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.